So this is the diesel oil cooler for the three litre engine. Okay, um, sits on the engine like that. First thing you want to do is uh, undo the sensors, the connectors. Comes with the, it doesn't come with the new oil sensor, but um, it's a 24 millimeter on the old one. Just put it in. It comes with a new bracket. It, I would have taken off those two eight mils because the 10 mils too too hard. So you just vice versa. Um, the first bolt you undo is actually this one, and it's you can do it from up top, but if it's really easy if you have a hoist, so you can go underneath and just. See you later, thanks for coming. They are 10 millimeter bolts, so there's only three holding it in, so that's pretty much where they are. This one's gonna be the hardest one to get to, so yeah, it's really only a mechanics job. <laughs> It's actually a heater hose for a VT Commodore. And it's just the perfect shape, uh, size, length, shape, whatever you want to call it. This is a coolant reservoir or header tank. Coolant. Coolant. So does they coolant? I'm going to take up the thermostat now, uh, the two 8 mil bolts. This one's a bit annoying to get to. So now we're going to try and flush out most of the oil in the cooling system. Uh, this is the one of the heater hoses. So you get it off, you squeeze, you squeeze the bottom of this thing. You might have to get some like ring looking pliers. Squeeze it, try and pry this up. Um, and put water in here, everywhere. Thermostat, anywhere you can think of. <laughs> so don't forget to put on the new sensor here. It's a 24 mil. It's all you, not me. Juice, bro. Uh, just remember they're all 10 mil bolts. Um, the long ones go well, that one here, and the one the other one goes like on this side but underneath. The only small one is just down there in that very happy spot. <laughs> mm, this is not fun. Uh, again, uh, three bolts, one, two, three, they're all 10 mils. Um, like you saw in the video, you're not going to get any, any other tool in there except the quarter drive, so. Alright, so the new one's in, as you can see I've started putting the bolts in. They're not done up all the way because you, otherwise you're going to struggle to put these two 8mm uh, bolts at the back of the cooler for the bracket. Um, but yeah, just those three. Um, also, understand that it, it's, you might not be able to see much in the video, but the, as you can see, it's in a really tight spot. You can't get anything down there. So we're showing, showing you from here and underneath as much as we can. So. Oh, 
so as you can see, uh, the Tamil bolt at the bottom is a lot easier to uh, get access to on the hoist. It's, you, you can do it on the ground, it's a bit of a struggle, but it's, it's right behind the starter and right below the brick. So. So I'm just tightening up those two 8 mils on the back, where the bracket is. I am putting back in the thermostat and I'll put all the hoses back in and then I'll clean out the header tank, do hickey. Then I'll put it all back together and put the cool in and see you later, thanks for coming. Don't cross through this, but you've got to go on a tiny bit of an angle. You know, angle. This is a special solution. It gets rid of all oils. Suck what your mama got out. The mask? Up. We're going to the post office. Don't even post it in the oven. I am. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Wonder what this is. Oh. Jiggy, 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 Two thousand years later. Size. Ten millimeter. This is the one, uh, the top left of the radiator, and you just and to the top of the thermostat. Um, so put your bottom radiator hose back on. If you undid the radiator, obviously uh, tighten the tap. And that's really it. Let me put your under trays on. Don't forget these. <laughs>